Chavez, 155 pound fighter, and I'm gonna fight for at Commerce Casino for Bama Bad B9. George Valdez, 155, fighting at Bama USA, Commerce Casino. Now coming up to Bama at a higher, a higher level promotion. Uh, it says a lot because I feel like that they went out their way to get a certain level of fighters, certain amount of fighters, and uh, being the best at that division says a lot. It being the fourth appearance, it feels great that Bama wants to keep me fighting, and uh, if they keep giving me guys, then I'm just going to keep knocking them out or submitting them. As long as they keep giving me guys, I'm going to keep being here at Bama. So I came from a wrestling background. I started saying, you know what, let me just stay active. So I started taking cardio kickboxing classes. After a while, those were getting a little easy, so I did jujitsu. Then I started doing the MMA class where they incorporated everything, punches, kicks, takedowns, everything. And then I started being the best in those classes. After a while, they invited me to spar, so I started sparring. I'm becoming the best sparring in that session. Eventually, it got me to a point where they invited me to train with like uh, guys that were supposedly professional fighters. So I started getting into MMA through boxing. I started boxing, and then I used to have a friend we used to do uh, break dancing sessions, and he started bullying me around, and I was like, dude, I'm a lot bigger than you, you little short Asian guy. And he started pushing me to the level that I just wanted to hit him. You know, since you know I thought I was a boxer, I just rushed him, and I was going to hit him, and they just put me in a submission. And I was like, I'm hooked. 6 and 0 means, yeah, I mean, I trained hard, and I got those victories, but, you know, you got to stick to basics. You got you got, you can't lift your head blow up. It's just constantly staying on the grind, and I have my coaches that keep me, you know, I'm not, I'm not one of those flashy kind of people anyway, but they keep me grounded all the time with basics, constantly working on weaknesses and putting me in these uh, bad positions and, and making me make me realize, no, there's there's tons of room for growth. And I think as long as I keep that mindset and put the hard work in, you know, I'll keep on racking up those numbers and keep my zero. It's really hard, you have to really find time to find a balance between your, you know, your daily process of working, training, family and your other needs that you have to other people. So with me, it's just, I try to wake up earlier in between work and my lunch schedules. I try to go to the gym and run in that after work and then just going home super late, 12, 11 o'clock at night, you know, just to get that extra training. I work hard, I, I do three workouts a day. I don't know what he does. I will say this, I think I have the advantage in the cardio. However, I will say he goes hard. I will say I'll give him that credit, he goes hard. He, he does gas out, on every five I've seen he gasses out in three rounds, but he's constantly attacking. He's not someone that, even when he's on the ground, he's, he's, he's active. So it's not like 15 minutes of fighting for him is, he's just letting someone lay on him, he's moving, he's constantly moving. So that is tough coming from a fighter's ass, you know, point of view, I already know how that feels, that's, that's not hard. I've learned a lot from each fight. Uh, the most important one was uh, this last one. Um, basically, my cardio has to be a lot, you know, higher than what it was. Um, I don't see a victory as like I'm in a comfortable level. It's more that I have to try harder to just keep winning and keep fighting. You know, if he's changing up to pick up his cardio and pick up his standing, that's cool. But the fact is, he hasn't done it for years already. You can only do so much to train your body and to to gain a natural reaction off a punch. I think that comes in time, and uh, if he's very switching up now, then. It's not gonna make a difference. My fans can expect my hand up in the air with a belt around my waist. At the end of Bad B9, I'll be 7-0 and still climbing. <laughs>